Miami-Dade's mayor in the meantime holding a news conference moments ago ahead of the storm. And Local 10 News reporter Christina Vasquez joining us live from Miami with reaction. Christina. And right now to that gentleman in Roy's piece. Wow, thank you so much for being a loyal Local 10 viewer. And if this is what you were waiting for, here it is. So Miami-Dade County's mayor just wrapping up a news conference a short time ago. And so much of what you said really reflected in that weather cast you just heard Brandon deliver. Look, it's a depression now, but eyes are on it, right? We're looking to see uh, if it develops into a hurricane, what kind of trajectory it's going in. And that's why she says now this Friday, so here you go. From county leaders, they say now is the time to start really looking at your supply kit. So we go through this. If you're new to South Florida, welcome. And so you know when we get these hurricanes, there's a supply checklist. We have it on our website where you can go through and take a look at what do you need to have in place and in what quantities in order to be able to prepare for a storm. And guess what? We're on the cusp of a weekend. That means a lot of folks, you might be already headed out to the grocery store anyway. Maybe you just check your pantry, check supplies, check the list, and then gather those items along with your usual items that you might be getting as you run some errands this weekend. Let's go ahead and listen in to Miami-Dade County's mayor about this idea of spending this weekend preparing. Florida is in the cone of concern and we urge our community to continue monitoring this storm. Now is the time to make sure you have a hurricane plan in place for yourself and your family and to double check that you have a hurricane emergency kit and that it is fully stocked. And that same advice being echoed today from Monroe County, the administration there. I also for you checked in with South Florida's Water Management District. You may remember that usually when we start to see a storm on approach, there is a strategy that's used to lower the waters in the canals. So that way it can absorb some of that extra rain that's anticipated so you don't have unnecessary surface flooding above the flooding that's already expected right from heavy rainfall. So they said they're going to put out some more information later on today, but could confirm for us to share with you uh, right now, live in this newscast, that that is something they're looking at right now. The plan is to begin watering those, uh, excuse me, lowering the water levels in the canals, uh, except at this point, they don't know exactly when that will start. But you can see now on a county level, um, we checked in with several different counties that there is this mobilization, right? And this call to action to you all to start thinking about looking at your hurricane supply list, making sure you have those supplies in place place and the number one key advice they say is doing what you're doing right now continue watching local 10 our weather authority because the updates that they are delivering to you are the same updates that our county leaders are watching before they deliver more advice to community so there you go back to you